Hello everyone, uh, thanks for watching this video. Today we're going to actually publish an image to the Docker Hub with Visual Studio. So you've built a project in Visual Studio with Docker support. Now how do we get it somewhere where we can actually use it? That's where we need to build our project into a Docker image and then push it to Docker Hub where it will be stored online and we can access it we can make it public, we can make it private, depending on our security needs. And Visual Studio will do all of this for us, thankfully. So it's, it's quite a simple process. And today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to do this. So let's get into it. So first, let's look, take a quick look at Docker Hub. So I've logged in. I've created an account. It's hub.docker.com. And this is where you can create a repository to store an image. Now. Now you don't have to create a repository first and then push an image to it. If you push a new project, it will create a new repository. But you can see these are all the ones that I have in my account. I have um, several for, from class projects I'm working on. Here's the buck help one that I'm doing for software engineering too. Here's, these are mostly just test ones that I played around with. Here you can see they're all public. So anyone could go on here and see them. So obviously that's a security you know, concern that you need to keep in mind if you're working on something important. You need to manage how you deploy them more securely. But now let's open up Visual Studio. So I already have a project open and I'm going to now publish it to a Docker image. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here in the top ribbon to I'm going to go to build. I'm going to click build and I'm going to go down here to publish new Docker project or whatever the name is. I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up this window. It's going to ask me where am I publishing it to. So I'm going to choose Docker Container Registry. I'm going to hit next. Um, there, there's many different Docker registries. Um, I'm using Docker Hub, which is their company's repository service. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to have to put in my username and password for the Docker account. Let me hit finish. All right, so that saved my profile, so it can connect to my account now. And then here you're going to see I can just go ahead and hit publish. Um, another thing you're going to need to have running is Docker Desktop, so that it can actually build the image and push it up, you'll have to have Docker Desktop running. Um, in a separate video, I'm going to show you how to, what steps you need to take to, so that you can run Docker Desktop on your computer. But there is documentation out there, and I'll leave some links below to show you how to install Windows Subsystem for Linux and Docker Desktop. But you need to have that running before you can do this. Now, you'll notice a couple things here. Um, I can edit the configuration. Um, the, the first thing, the main thing I'd want to show you, though, is the image tag. Uh, so if you want to, like, store multiple versions of your application, you can do that by renaming it. If you always leave it as latest, it will prob probably overwrite it. So I recommend changing it to a naming convention that actually means something to you. So I'm going to do 1.0, and I'm going to hit OK. So this will be the first push of this image, and I'll be able to tell that when I look at the Docker Hub. So I'm going to hit Publish now, and it's going to take a little time to build the image and then upload all the layers. So I may skip through a little bit of that. OK, hey, everyone. So that took, according to my clock, about two and a half to three minutes. It's going to take some time to build and upload all the layers and images. So have some patience with it. But hopefully you should see Publish Succeeded on 4.11. Um, hopefully you should see Publish Succeeded here in the corner. Another note that I will mention is make sure you're in the correct branch. So down here in the lower right hand corner you can see I have Add to Source Control and, and Select Repository. I don't have any source control for this project because it was just kind of a throwaway to show you guys. But if you do have source control, and you probably will, make sure you're in the correct branch because it'll build 
the project from the files in, in whatever branch you're currently in. So, so just make sure of that. So now we're going to go to, over to Docker Hub. And if we refresh the page, we should see here we have our new Docker project in our Docker Hub. We can see we have the tag number 1.0. Um, as the only image in our repository so far. So now it's public, it's available, and we can download it and actually put it in a production environment. So in the next video, that's what we're going to do. Catch you in the next one.